Do you feel the pain? Gary Brady and this is the evolution of mobile learning. This video will trace the emergence and transformation of personal mobile networked learning in K-12 education. There are several key definitions for understanding the evolution of mobile learning. The first is educational technology. This is the interactive technology to enable effective learning. It may include fixed desktop mobile and wearable devices and their software. The next definition is e-learning. This is a form of distance learning that relies on electronic technology. It is becoming more widely accepted and available because of the great increase in everyday online communication, our experience with new digital tools, and our comfort with online discourse. Finally, the most important definition is that of m-learning. This is learning across multiple contexts through social and content interactions using personal electronic devices. Personal devices are things like tablets and smartphones. The emergence of mobile instructional technology in education traces its roots back to printed books. In 1436, the first printing press emerged. This evolved into the modern printing press when in 1843 Richard Marks Ho innovated the rotary printing press. Learners could then access scholarly materials anywhere with the availability of inexpensively produced books. Just about 30 years after the rotary printing press, innovations in communication technology evolved with the telephone in 1876. Then, in in the 1920s, the emergence of mobile instructional technology in the form of the radio took shape. The rapid rise of radio and film in the 20s and 30s led to proposals for their use in distance education. At least 200 city school systems, 25 state boards of ed, and many colleges and universities broadcast educational programs for the public schools by the end of the 1930s in the U.S. At the same time, early mobile testing machines became popular. In 1924, Sidney Pressy created the first personal movable testing machine, the Pressy Machine. Pressy predicted there must be an industrial revolution in education so as to adjust automatically to individual differences and characteristics of the learning process. Sidney called for mechanizing education to free the teacher and pupil from the drudgery and incompetence. Over time, technology shifts from testing to teaching. Mechanizing and personalization began. A new pedagogy was born, that is, the theory and practice of teaching, learning, and assessment. These were rooted to technology. Early mobile teaching machines included in 1968 Alan Kay's Dynabook, a book-sized computer for education. Then came the emergence of mobile technology in the form of the mobile phone. Marty Cooper invented the mobile phone in 1973. The first prototype weighed 2.5 pounds. This opened up opportunities for mobile distance communication, but it would take another 30 years before the mobile phone would become 23 times smaller and 10 times lighter. In these years, the emergence of mobile personal computing began to take shape. In 1975, IBM 5000 became the first available portable computer laying the groundwork for mobile ed. In 1984, the first PDA was launched. And then, in 1995, the Internet exploded onto the scene in education with email, web browsers, and chat functionality. Alas, the game-changing trigger for emerging mobile technology was the smartphone in 2007 when Apple launched its first iPhone. Industry competitors suggested that it would not be a success. However, smartphones in a very short span of time became a ubiquitous technology. But the true transformation of mobile technology in education occurred in 2010 when Apple released the first iPad tablet 